Hey, how you doing? This is David. I'm one of the co-founders of Typeform and the creator of VideoAsk. In this video, I want to share with you my five favorite tips on the VideoAsk platform. Tip number one, be authentic. People are always asking me, how do I record a really good video ask? The best answer that I can give them is be yourself, be authentic. Don't try to be professional. You don't need to have the best camera in the world or the best lighting in the world. As long as it's decent, then that's fine. What's more important is that you come across as genuine. So look into the camera, make sure you're not reading a script and be yourself. Obviously, this is a professional studio with a professional setup, and here I have a professional team. Hello, professional team. So you don't need to do this for your video ask. What you need to do is basically pick up your phone or if you're recording on your computer and just be natural. Like, this looks fine. This is not as good quality as the video, but I come across naturally and it's perfectly fine. Tip number two, don't overuse notes. On video ask, you can use the teleprompt feature in order to put some support notes during recording. This obviously is a great help if you're nervous in front of the camera and need something to refer back to. The thing is, don't read these notes. It's better to just write a bullet list of keywords than full sentences. Otherwise, you're just gonna be reading off the page and it won't come across as natural. Tip number three, hacking a custom language into VideoAsk. On VideoAsk, we currently support 11 languages natively, but you can also create your own custom language. All you need to do is just add a custom language, translate all the texts to your native language, and then after that, you need to set the transcription to support your, tr your native language. And in this case, we support all languages for transcription. Tip number four, using your keyboard. I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to using my mouse and I like keyboard shortcuts. On videos, you can actually navigate through your interaction feed by using your up and down and left and right arrows. Up and down to move through a different interaction, left and right to move through the different answers in that interaction. This is important because you are as lazy as me and we both know it. Tip number five, make my logo bigger. People always want bigger logos and we're no strangers to that on video ask. If you want the biggest possible logo when uploading it to your brand, make sure the file you upload doesn't have any white space around the logo. That will make sure that when we reduce the logo size, we're not reducing it alongside the white space in the file and you'll have your logo as big as possible within the constraints that we apply. Next tip, use the search feature to find people. Sometimes I remember a video ask interaction that I've had with a customer, but I can't remember the customer's name, but I can remember like a gist of the conversation. So what I've done in the past is I've used the search feature to put in some keywords and then I search through the results and lo and behold, I found the customer. Okay, that's a wrap. I'm curious to know which of these tips you most enjoyed. Please leave a comment below and I'll respond. Thanks for watching.